morning YouTube. So um, I'm heading to Starbucks right now to meet up with Hannah. We're gonna review a little bit. And um, today is test day. Um, it's our third integrated exam um, this whole semester. Um, and the second to last one of my second year of medical school. Woo! That's what's happening today. This um, exam is gonna consist of 200 questions 50 from each of these subjects, pharmacology, pathology, microbiology, and clinical sciences. So, <clears throat> just hope to do decent on this exam because board studying is coming up and um, I need to like ramp up the board studying a little bit more. So, I don't know. I never know how I feel about an exam, med school exams, ever. Because your grade, for me, in my opinion, like never, the way you feel before an exam and after exam never correlates to like how you actually did on an exam. So let me know if you, you feel the same way about your exams. Because I feel like sometimes I'm the only one, but I can't be the only one. Yeah, so today I'll be telling y'all, um, how I study but to be honest in med school our study habits change every literally every single day so um, and and sometimes it just depends on the subject how I study it's kind of gloomy this morning so I will see y'all in a little bit So I just got home and all my classmates are telling me that our last grade is out. Um, so on Monday we took like an exam of um, farm, pathology, microbiology, and clinical sciences. And pharmacology is kind of like the one I was most worried about. So I'm going to check them right now. Let's see how I did. Hopefully I did okay. A little nervous. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. I, this is like my highest pharmacology grade ever, so I'm just really happy. My gosh. So now I can actually show you like what I did to do better on this exam as opposed to other exams. Um but yeah, I'll definitely show that for now. Oh my god, I'm like so in shock right now. Goodness. I was really scared. I was literally 
on the borderline of my grade for pharmacology. So the way I studied, uh, or yeah, I basically Quizlet. Quizlet is super key. Um, and then what I did differently, like, okay, so what I did differently from this exam was I reviewed Quizlet at least like five times and you like I know it seems like it won't help especially like only after doing it twice and you still aren't really familiar with um the answers but you just have to constantly test yourself and make it a point to go through your quizlet um sets at least once or twice a day um up and coming to the exam so like what I did was I had finished all the quizlets um, by like Thursday or Friday, Friday, and, or I had finished them by Thursday or something like that, and, um, I made it a point to go through them, um, at least once or twice every day, um, and I made, I made Quizlet sets for pharmacology and clinical sciences, and so, like, here, like, I had so many people messaging me or telling me in person how much they appreciated my um, Quizlet sets because um, when like when I do it I don't really set it on private so all my classmates can you know access it without me putting it on the class Quizlet site so um, here's this and so like you know you go through it and you just like you answer it and you try and answer it the best you can and I promise you the more you do this the more it's gonna come to you so quickly like every time you do your Quizlet um, it will be faster and faster and like this one really helped me there was like a question on this yeah it was like this one so if I hadn't done Quizlet then I wouldn't have known and yeah I love it how you can like put your picture here I wish you could put pictures on the other side as well but you can't you can only do it on like the description part so yeah Quizlet is literally the bomb I wish I had done this in like I wish I had done this in undergrad it kind of helped because there wasn't really there was a lot of material but it was digestible material because sometimes there are some exams where it's just like way too overpowering um and then so yeah that's that exam i did that so i had finished them on thursday so i had to go through them friday i had to go through them saturday and I had to go through them sunday and then i went through some of them on did i go through some, i went through i'm not sure if i went through them monday morning because we took our exam at one and usually we took it at 8 a.m so not sure about that. I don't think I did. I'm not sure. And so, sorry, it's all a blur. Um, and so then what I did was I made these tables and these tables literally saved my life because I was, my two worst subjects were, um, were micro and farm and no one like told me this. Like, I think my big dog told me like once, but I, uh, I'm stubborn and I don't think I really like listened to her what she was saying so for micro and pharmacology at least in my school it helped me so much to do these tables like it literally saved my life so I, wish I have this for micro and I made like a, a column for organism characteristics virulence factors how to diagnose it and treatment and um sketchy helped a lot for this too so I just put whatever was in the PowerPoint and then I filled in my sketchy notes here so on Sketchy, you can kind of like test yourself, which is really neat and cool. Um, it's just that it kind of sucks because you need internet. And, you know, not everywhere you go when you study has internet or good internet. So let's see. Sketchy. And I really had to pull myself up from the last exam because last exam, my computer broke down literally like days before the exam. And thank goodness my friend, classmates are a friend classmates will become your friends and you literally need a great support system so she, thank goodness she had a working awesome computer i used it um she was able to let me borrow it for a really long time um and i had to get a new laptop over um spring break which it was time i think i had the laptop since 2011 and we're in the year 2017 so yeah that's that um okay let me choose one let's teach. look at do stuff artists okay so I love sketchy because you have this thing right here and once you like review your video so I watched the video at two times speed took notes on my table that you saw just now 
and then you can test yourself so just really test yourself like why is that there why is this there this is guy was because of like mercy or something yeah i'm gonna say mercy okay so and then this one was like exfoliative toxin for like the scalding scalded syndrome yeah same thing there you go so um just like test yourself with this this is like literally your flashcard so you don't even need to make like an extra thing of flashcards you can just do this what i kind of wish i did which i think i'm gonna do next exam so when you have your table like cover it up and then be like okay like what can i you know get from just this like what goes here without looking you know at it and then you know what goes there what's the treatment that kind of thing okay and then so for farm this one was the class i was really i'm really struggling in. but now i'm okay so got this and you have your drug name your mechanism of action or important info that whatever your professor will give you your side effects your contraindications and your indications so that i made this table and then i even wrote notes like how to remember um these for myself because i really like i need that i can't just like straight up memorize it so um just those things and then i literally went through these notes both of these a good like three four five times like you literally just have to like go through it like for me it helped to like box things in underline things like circle things like be kind of like active in it and kind of absorb it and i think for this one what i should have done is like maybe cover this or i think that's what i did do for like one time but i wish i did it more was cover this side and kind of like try to see what the drug is without you know looking at what the drug name is so yeah that'd be really good so um this was like my highest grade ever so i'm really happy that whatever i did worked because i really needed it to work i had a really bad exam last exam and i just needed to pull myself up so yeah so this semester is definitely going better than last semester for sure like 100 percent. and it kind of like medical school you constantly have to adapt yourself and like you have to adapt yourself to the material because the material even though you have all these great like study techniques, it won't necessarily work for every single subject. Sometimes you have to switch it up and that's what's a little frustrating. And there's like a learning curve and I don't, I don't like that learning curve because no one likes to make bad grades. Like everyone in medical school obviously wants to make all A's, but no, not everyone's gonna make all A's. And like, it's just kind of impossible in medical school. But yeah, um, but yeah so I'm really happy that that's what happened and I get to share with y'all like how I studied and yeah so hopefully this last exam goes well also what I want to say about studying is that it's not necessarily like what you do it's how many times you do it so if you make a quizlet if you make your notes make sure to go through those multiple times like over three times three four five six seven times I don't know however many times you think you're familiar with the information so in undergrad, how I used to study was um, I would, for I think one of my classes or some of my classes, I would try and do flashcards, but I would do like handwritten flashcards. And you know, handwritten flashcards take you like a million years to finish. And then you, you like look up and then you finish them and it's like Sunday before the exam. So what I used to do was, I, wish, I really wish I did Quizlet back in the day um, in undergrad. I think that would have helped a lot. And... Um, I used to handwrite all my notes, so I would print out my notes, um, like my slides, uh, four slides a page, and I would have them like landscape, and I would come to class write notes, and then um, after class or a few days before the exam, I would like rewrite all my notes by hand, and that really helped me get by, but I really wish I had um, Quizlet to expedite those things, and yeah, so. That was that for how I study and hopefully this gives you some insight as to how to study. Everyone studies differently in med school and not everything that I do is necessarily gonna work for you. So you just have to like test it out and I hope it does work for you. Just know that if you tried literally, if you know in your head you tried to the best of your ability to do the best that you could at that time that you took the exam and you know, trying to prepare for that, then that's really all you can do. So don't beat yourself up if you had a bad exam. Like, just know that you can get past that. Like, just know that, okay, so what's my game plan for next exam? Like, what am I gonna do better? What am I going to do to, you know, to do better? So that was that. Like, I, I literally, 
I started planning out kind of like my study schedule on Monday um, but I, it didn't happen like I didn't stick to it 100% but I did end up finishing what I needed what I wanted to do to get it done so whenever you do have a plan just try and like n like kind of forecast that it might not go according to plan but allow yourself some cushion so that if it doesn't happen it'll it has to happen before the, the test day so yeah so i wish you well and hopefully this gives you insight as to how i'm studying right now and hopefully this helps and um oh yeah i watched dit videos for this um for this block so how i studied in second year definitely differed from how i studied in first year like a lot um this, thank goodness, um, second year is kind of, for us, it's broken up into, like, systems. So, I love that because you can do, like, board questions related to this block. You can also watch the DIT videos. And I, I, I'm so glad DIT works for me because I know DIT doesn't work for everyone. And you don't really know that until you've already, like, bought <laughs> the course, which I think is kind of, like, I wish that you could do a trial to see if it does work for you, and thank goodness DIT really sticks in my head. So I'm really hoping that it gives me success when I take my board exams in July. So good luck to y'all, and hopefully just let me know if any of these work or if you do any of these already and what works for you, and I'd love to hear in the comments below. So bye!